Hello and welcome to a new uh, quick tip video. My name is Michael from the YouTube channel Freely Escape, and today I'd like to show you a little setting um, that allows you to have several million vertices in your viewport. And you see right now one of my older projects, and I use a subsurf modifier um, to give the displacement modifier a bit more geometry geometry to work with. And yeah, at the end I get some 0.6 million vertices, as you see here on the top uh, center. And yeah, still the viewport actually runs quite smooth. And yeah, as you may know, maybe yourself, uh, this isn't the case normally. Uh, on my machine, actually Blender gets or starts to get a pretty laggy at about 1 or 2 million vertices. And yeah, you see, right now this isn't the case. And that's just to this little setting. So to enable it, you go to File User Preferences or Control Alt U. And um, when you are in the User Preferences, you go to the System Settings up here. And there's one little checkbox right in the center. And that's called VBOs. By default, it's actually disabled. So let's uh, uncheck it. And you see, I got a delay of several seconds. The frame rate of the viewport drops down to one or two per second. And yeah, it's pretty unusable. So check it again and read the tooltip. And it says actually, actually it just buffers the geometry for faster viewport rendering. And you see, it's true, it's just much faster. Um, yeah, I did a few tests because the setting is actually quite new for me too. And it works the best if you have a face mesh like I have. So let's uncheck the modifier really quick and go into the edit mode. And you'll see I have a pretty normal face mesh uh, with a few buffed vertices. And yeah, I add the really fine detail with the subsurf modifier. Or you could also use a multi res modifier if you do um, multi res sculpting. And yeah, the actual the speed improvement is the best. And if you use a uh, mesh that has for itself a few million vertices, um, as an example, if you sculpt with dynamic topology. So um, if you go into the edit mode, actually, you see this really dense geometry. And if you select everything, it just uh, says at the top, you selected a few million vertices from a few million vertices. And yeah, if you have a mesh that's as dense as I said, um, they actually, the speed improvement for itself isn't as big. So it works the best if you add the additional uh, details with a subsurf or a motor rest modifier. Yeah, that's basically it. So if you have some useful tips and tricks or if you have any questions uh, or actual tips and tricks to make Blender faster or if you have any questions, um, just write them down below in the comments. If you want to support this video a bit, just uh, share it or give it a li uh, like. And if you want to support my channel, uh, please subscribe down below to see more of those quick tips and um, yeah, tutorials. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I hope I see you in my next video. And bye.